Hi guys, this is Dolls Will Be Dolls and I'm coming to you with the toy haul and some other things that I bought and I didn't share with you so I thought that I'll share this now. Um, sorry I haven't been making any videos, I haven't really had the time to do so, I was having trouble with the internet, I was having trouble with my computer, so it goes back and forth, and I'm still constantly working on other things. So anyway, I want to share with you this new two-story Barbie dollhouse that I bought. I don't want to take too much time, I just want to show you right quick, and you can see here that if it'll clear up to let you see oh you can see it there right here so it closes up and go you can fold it up and here's the actual dollhouse right here um, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit here we go and as you can see I have it set up in my background that's going to be for the cookout for the dolls whenever I get a chance to you can see my grass floor that I covered with grass paper real simple okay so let's get to this little dollhouse this is so pretty I found it at Target's for $35.99 the first time I saw it, it was $40 so the next time I saw it I said let me just get it because it was the last one there okay uh, I'll start with this part right here I'll zoom in a little bit and this area is just the TV right here. The chair has to go here, which is right over here. I'll, I'll get the chair in a minute. It's a chair, so this could be like a little dining area where she's watching TV or he who, who's ever living in the home. What's up? Okay guys, I'm back. My battery had died and I was showing you this little area right here where it could be like a little dining area where here's the TV you can see it maybe I'll zoom in a little bit okay oops here's like the TV screen here's the chair I'll zoom down put my camera down okay, one second so you can see that here's the chair that goes with it um, it's a cute little yellow chair you can use I can push this over here and I'm trying to figure out how I can do this I wanted to give it a little dining area you know maybe put a little couch down I mean of course I'm not gonna have the grass I just have this there because it's just a backdrop that I'm gonna be using for uh, my dolls uh, cookout when finally I get to film it so it's just different ways you could play up with it let me open it up a little more let's see if I can open this so that's just that area and then here you can see let me slide it over here's the table where it comes with I know it's a little dark this is a table and it comes with accessories that's inside this bag here like um, I don't want to take too much time you know it's gonna come with accessories for the dollhouse Ooh, okay um, here you have the little, little green plate as you can see yes I can sit it wherever I want to sit it on the table and it just snaps inside like that a um, little pot silver gray pot and it has all these little things where you could uh, snap it inside so it stays and that's good because this way it doesn't get lost because I lose a lot of little pieces snaps in I'm not gonna show everything this is like a little drink um, like that you can see it little drink and you just put them inside here's another little one inside just snap it in and then these are just other little accessories that come with this dollhouse it's like a little clock <laughs> it's like a little owl clock and that's so cute I'll just sit it like that and of course another little green plate just sit it up there this right here is for the bed I'll show you that 
for the bedding. So I'll just I'll put that to the side. This a little towel. Oops, <laughs> that has to go in the bathroom. I love the print. It's really cute. And um, this is like a little spray bottle. You can see. You can see it's a little spray bottle. I'll just sit it there. And you know your little tiny fork. <laughs> That's so cute. I'll just put it in the pot. And it comes with a little brush. So she can brush her beautiful hair. A little pink brush. Just sit it down. And then I'm not sure is this like a little pitcher, a little tray, or something like that. I'm not completely sure. Okay, so I'll just put that down. Then it's the other little oops. Oh god, sorry. Then here's the stickers to finish decorating the house that I gotta put the other stickers on to the other parts of the house. I'm gonna open it up. See this, I'm not crazy about all these little tiny accessories because everything is always falling. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. It's like it's falling apart. Okay, I'm right in front of my camera. This is really, really pretty. And then right here, you have this little area as a window here. And you have little chairs, just a little decoration that's here that's already painted on, the little flowers, the chair. Then over here, you have the door. And I love the fact that these are openings so you can see straight through the backdrop that I put. So whatever backdrop you put around it, it's going to show through. So I really like that. Um, on this side, right here, is another door. I believe that's a door. No, nope, that's not a door. This is the door right here. Let me turn it. It's kind of hard for me to film like this. This is another door, as you can see. See? And it has a little flowers there. This is just to close the door set up. You close it and then it's portable. So that's the cool thing about this play set. So I'm gonna turn it around without breaking it, hopefully. Because it seems to be falling apart a little bit. Inside here we have this is the bathroom. This is so cute, and you know, they're painted on the little towels, towels and flowers, and the mirror, and the sink, that's so cute. And you see the hand soap, and then as you go down, and you see more towels inside the little cabinet down there, so that is really cute. And then on this side is the shower. This is the only way I can do it for you because I don't have a big wide screen with this camera. So that's the top of the shower. You see the shower head right there. Then you scroll down. And there is the toilet. It opens and it closes. Cool. And I'm going to turn it around. And this is, oops, come on thing, don't fall apart on me. This is uh, the kitchen area. This is so cute. As you can see, like all of these windows, these windows, they're straight through. There's nothing in them. If you want, you probably could put plastic there to give it like a clear window, but I'm not gonna do that. So here's the, uh, here's the uh, kitchen, here's the stove, the sink. Does it move? Nope, it doesn't move. Um, just knobs there. They don't really turn or anything like that. And it's just all is drawn. As you can see, they drew this on here. This doesn't open. Nope, doesn't open. Nothing open. So it's just for decorative stuff. Really cute. And then on the top, okay, is, I'm going to have to lift my camera up. So you can see on the top, this will be where this is like the tub or the spa. Let me see if I can zoom back a little bit. Or this is like the spa where you can turn it into a bed. Which this is the bed spread. Wait, hold one second. So on the top, this is actually a bed. I pulled the pieces out up here where she could the dog could just lay back and sit back on the bed. So that's cool. I like that. 
Okay guys, I'm back. I'm actually holding my camera in my hand, so I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, but I'm just trying to show you like this area right here. If I want to put like a couch here for a doll to sit down in it, I'm so sorry about the shakiness. And she could sit down or he, whoever, and they could watch TV right here. This will not be the backdrop. This is just up just so that it's not a plain blank wall. Um, I still have to build around this little house, but I like it. So you can see like she can sit there. Sahara can sit there and she can watch TV. Okay. Back to the bathroom. I need to put the towel where it's supposed to go. This little pink towel. And I guess it would go here. Guess I would have to fold it in half so it can fit. And it would go like right in here. I'll show you in a minute. And that's the towel that hangs in that area for the bathroom. Sorry, it's a little dark. It's dark in my living room. So yeah, that's it for this little dollhouse, little doll set. I think it's super cute. Um, as you can see, I got my grass floors, but this will not be grass floors. Okay, that's enough of that for this little two-story Barbie dollhouse. I think it's super cute. And I will make use of it. Here's another thing, sorry, that I forgot to mention is the little steps that you see. So you'll see Sahara going up the steps. You can see them. She's going up the steps. See the steps? Up to the balcony. Up she goes. Up she goes. Till she reach to the top. And she can lay up here and chill if she chooses to. Okay. Okay guys, hair standing in front of you is one of my new Fashionista Ken dolls and I already took him out the box and I gave him a name and I named him Terrence. He looks like a Terrence to me. I love his really cute red, black, and white plaid shirt and he got on some nice little black pants with some nice tan looking boots which is pretty cool um to come out the box here's the box right here and he is fashion easter number nine as you can see so i already took him out the box and he is called if you can see that well it is called fashion easter plaid one point so yeah his plaid shirt is definitely on point point i love this doll um, I think he has really handsome face of his eyes. Let me see if I can zoom a little closer so you can see Terrence. That's the name that I gave him to be on my show. He is going to be a very good friend of Christopher, uh, Crystal's brother. Okay? Love his face. His hair is molded on. Nice brown eyes. Nice smile. Really nice thick eyebrows, which is cool. Only thing that's not cool about these dolls is that they're stiff. I don't like the stuff. I mean, you can move the arm up and down, right? Can do that. Can turn his head, which is cool, but there's no pivot. Oh, yeah, a little bit of pivot. Because sometimes when you want to do stop motion, if these dolls don't have the right articulation, you can't pull it off the way you want to. And, of course, his legs only go up and down you know back and forth that's it you cannot bend his legs or his ankles or anything like that but in the future if I can I would love to rebody him uh, to rebody these dolls um, can be expensive because you have to buy new bodies and sometimes those new bodies are not always cheap okay so I'm gonna move along to my next toy Okay guys, I bought the Barbie Backyard Barbecue Grill. I think this is super cute. Um, this will work good for my last episode. So you see all the little accessories that comes with it, like the glove and I guess that's the tongue, the spatula, it has a little hamburger like a cup of juice something like that and then you see uh, the hamburgers and the sausages a cute little puppy here's the grill as you can see I'm not gonna take it out the pack 
I'll turn it around so you can actually see a better picture. And this is the actual grill, which is cute. And it comes with this little blue chair and this little slide out uh, little table. So this is really cute, so realistic. Comes with a cute little puppy. Okay, so that's what I'll be using for the barbecue for my dolls. So that's another new toy I got. Uh, what else I have here? Oops, just hold on guys, I'm coming. I have this cute jacket that I bought off of eBay. Um, I think all together it came to like $8 and change for it. I think this is super cute. Um, it looks like the jackets that the high school kids wear in school. I wish I could get a lot more, but I won't be able to get a lot more. I'm going to try this jacket on Terrence and let's see how it fits him. Um, let's see what it looks like on Terrence. Okay, I'm putting it on I'm sure it's going to look good because Terrence is a slim built doll, so this will fit him nice. I can get it on one. <laughs> just give me a sec. Let me just put this on him. Uh, okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I put the jacket on Terrence and it looks great on him. Like I said, he is a slim fashionista doll. So I like that when I got this jacket and I took it out the package, I realized it was more like for a slender doll. So I'm like, I don't think this type of jacket would fit like AC or or John or the, the other dolls that's a little more husky, a little more muscular in the top, broader shoulders. I don't think this jacket would fit them. This jacket would fit probably Javon because he's more of a slim built too. So this jacket looks great on him. And I got this from eBay and it came from China. Okay, and I think it was like $8 and something like that. Okay, cool. Love it. Another thing that I got, something that I ordered from eBay, it was used, was, oops, excuse me. I got this pretty red velvet coat. I saw this and I just fell in love with it. It is so pretty. And when you open it up, it says Barbie and it's satin inside and it's velvet on the outside and it's red. I think I got this coat and it's also a hat, a little red velvet hat. You see that? And it has like a little red bow tie. I think I got it used. I got it used. I think it was like, I don't know, between eight and ten dollars. I can't remember the exact price, but they do have them on eBay. And they're like red velvet coats. They also have other ones like these, but they may be more like a wool look. But I like the velvet because I love velvet. So I'm going to try this on a doll to see how it looks. So just hold on. Okay, guys. So I'm back. And I put the coat in the hat on Sahara. And what do you think? I think she looks pretty in it. <laughs> it's cute. It's very Christmassy. So, I will be using this coat and hat on one of my dolls in the Christmas scene. Hopefully, I can pull that together and get it done because sometimes, I'm not going to lie, be tired. So, when you're tired, you're just tired. And it's just sometimes I didn't get the opportunity to see a lot of people's videos that they've been posting. I didn't have the time. I checked out a few other things. Like, I did watch... Um, doll world show she has um barbies of atlanta and that's super funny and you know i had to check it out just to see right quick um but in the meantime eventually i'll get i'll play catch up to watch other people's videos that i i didn't get a chance to see so i think it looks pretty on her it's a big flare red coat and that's all it is in the cute little red hat so i think she looks pretty and you know, this doll right here, like Sahara is supposed to be my model. So she's modeling this red coat for you guys today. So she's hoping that you liking it. I may need to 
run a little warm iron or something to get some of the wrinkles out but other than that she looks flawless beautiful I love it okay guys and I wanted to show you these um, these jersey shirts that I got off of eBay they were used um, if you watched one of my stop motion videos this is Nacelle she was wearing this jersey shirt and she danced with Jay Vaughn and one of the stop motions that I did <clears throat> and he was wearing this jersey shirt and I got like okay you got this one you got this one this is the back I mean they're used they weren't new I had to cut them to put them onto the dolls because they don't this is not stretch fabric um so that's one this is two then it was another one like this this is cute I love this royal blue is nice um, I didn't cut it yet cool um, and I got like all of these I bought them used offer from I mean from eBay from a user um, for like $15 for all these little jersey shirts I thought these were super cute because they were Barbie size and here's another one um, some of my boys will rock these shirts for the cookout um, that's that and then this person was nice enough to throw in these cute little jeans Barbie jeans like little jeans and it has like a purple belt or something on it see that really cute and it has this print on it those are so cute okay those little jeans and then they gave me this capri shorts or knickerbockers boxers whatever I'm not sure can you see like that and I assume I don't know if these are Ken doll shorts or for Barbie but I I put my dolls on the same clothes, boys and girls, so it doesn't matter to me. I think these are cute. Little olive green, little capri shorts. And they gave, you know, those green shorts and then this little green striped shirt. I think this is cute. They gave it to me along with the five jersey shirts. And then they gave this cute little green like Barbie doll shirt I think these is cute and I just wanted to come to you with my little toy haul with my dolls new dolls little extra little toys and um, little clothes that I bought and I also bought some uh, fancy designer duct tape so I gotta figure out uh, where I want to use this oops <laughs> I'm so clumsy I gotta figure out where I wanna use this. This will be nice decorative stuff in the doll set. So I'll figure it out. This is pretty, it's black and white. It's like when I bring it close to the camera, it's losing focus. And then I also bought this pink with black polka dots. And there's one more thing I have I wanna show you. It's these Okay, slide all of that over. It's these this cute little package that I bought from um, Family Dollar. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Family Dollar. And um, this is called Puppy Pals. And it was only $5. And you know, I buy my daughter the littlest pet shops. And uh, those things are pretty expensive. Like I got a pack for like maybe five little or six little littlest pet shops toys for like $16.99 or I think they was $19.99 out of Target's and this is only five bucks and these are super cute and look at everything that you get you get one two three four five you got five little pets and you know the other little accessories that comes with it the pet food the little bowl and look a little wagon this is so cute and the other little pet food it's all it is for five dollars right out of family dollar okay guys this ends my toy doll haul hope you enjoyed it sorry I was a little shaky and all over the place um sometimes I take the camera off but sometimes I'm holding the camera in my hand so anyway 
God bless and I'll see you next time. Don't forget that I will be making part two of episode seven. Just give me some time. I have so much to do, but it is coming and it's a work in progress. Okay, take care everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I also have another doll. I couldn't pass her up. I went in Family Dollar and I saw her and she was maybe like $8 and some change. So I had to get her. And she is the Barbie fashionista. Petite. I think she's so pretty. And let me see if I can put the light to her face. Yep. She would be perfect to play as Crystal's little sister. I think she looks so much like the mother. The mother name is Cristela. Uh, then you got Crystal and Crystal brother Christopher. So yeah, she's the fashionista petite. I love her. Pretty eyes. If the camera's gonna let me focus, and you can see she has those pretty eyes also. And a really nice dark, pretty mahogany skin big bushy bun on the top of her head or ponytail really cute some cute little green earrings love a cute little outfit blue and white with black trim very nice see a skirt really cute and these are some cute little <laughs> boots super cute love them and of course she's uh, you know she's not a uh, mobile doll I mean like I said, these dolls' arms could go up and down, stuff like that. Her head could turn, so as long as they have that, she do have pivotal, so she can pivot her head, so that's cool. I just wish that the arms and stuff could bend, so it would be nice if Mattel would start making all the dolls uh, be articulated. So I think a lot of doll collectors would love that but a lot of doll collectors don't collect their dolls just for articulation um, sometimes they don't even take them out of the box you know they just have them for show but someone like myself and a lot of other doll channels that take their dolls out the box and use them for stop motion and for shows yeah we be wanting that articulation okay but she's really pretty so now I have to come up with a name I like the name Claire. Being that all their names is starting with a C. You got Crystal, Cristela, Christopher, and Claire. Okay, so I think Claire would be pretty for her. Alright, so that's it for this doll. And I'm going to end this video, which is pretty long. And this is the box that she came in. And there she goes, right there in the middle. And I would love to get the other ones. As I go down the line, eventually I will get them. Here they are on the back. And I only have a few. I, I really want to collect them all. And you see, I only have a few. Let me point out the ones I do have. From this end, I have this kin. So I have number one. Now I have this one, which is number 25. I have number three, I have him going down the line. I have this one right here, which is, I can't really see the number. That is number 24, excuse me. I have bad eyes. I have 24. And there's another one, I'm missing one, I'm missing one. Nope, that's it. Those are the four dolls that, that I do have. From, from this fashionista line. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. So, yep, Claire will be a new character on the show. She's beautiful. I love how her makeup is so simple. It's not too much. I wish I could bring her closer so you could see her eyes, but I don't know, my camera is just doing something different today. Let me see if I can zoom back. Nope, that's still not doing it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But you can see how pretty her eyes are. Okay. What I'll probably do is just take a picture so you can really get a look of her beautiful eyes. Okay, guys, take care. See you next time. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, I'm definitely working on episode 7, part 2. 
it's a lot that I'm covering so just give me time but it will get there okay guys bye